Hi, welcome to Cloud Converge. Today we are going to show the installation of uh, OpenStack demo mode with the basic installation. In this installation, uh, we are going to install RabbitMQ, uh, which is a queuing protocol, uh, which is uh, developed on Erlang. Now, uh, one more module which we are going to install here is Keystone. The Keystone is the authentication and authorization which will be done between all the modules. The third one is the Glance image service. Uh, fourth one will be the Nova. Here in the Nova, we are going to configure the Nova compute, Nova volume, uh, Nova network, Nova object store. In this, uh, all the components which we are going to use are Nova. Now we are having one more component called Horizon, which is also called as a GUI or dashboard. Here uh, we are using KVM as a hypervisor. So we will go uh, to the, for the installation of uh, OpenStack. Now we are going to show this installation on a virtual box where it requires uh, two Ethernet. One is used for the local LAN where all the instances which, are, which we are going to create on the OpenStack will be talking each other on this LAN. The second one will be the public LAN. Uh, sorry, public IP, IPs. In this public IPs, whenever a service is started on the instance, that service can be accessed by provisioning these IPs to those instances. So in this way, we require two LAN cards. As we heard that, uh, we are going to install the Nova volumes. So for the Nova volumes, we require the LVMs on the machine. So these LVMs can be installed either by having a one more hard disk or a partition. So in this way, we can install. Now, we are going to start the installation process of OpenStack. In this process, we require to install the NTP, the network time protocol, and we are going to install one more uh, device, drivers, which is iSCSI. But here we are not going to configure any iSCSI devices, because in this installation, we are not going to show anything related to iSCSI. And the third component which we are going to install in this is the MySQL. The MySQL will store all the user database, all the user data, where we are creating a database for the Keystone, Nova, Glance. All these things will be stored in the MySQL. So this is the total pre-request list. Before doing the pre-request list, we require one, some more common utilities, which we call it as a wget or unzip. So we are going to see the installation in this. So now, first we are using the apt update. In the apt update, it will be updating the repositories, total all the repositories uh, which are installed on the Ubuntu. Now, once it is done, uh, now we are going to install the wget, unzip and elix. Here, uh, wget, uh, we are using to download it. Unzip, we will be using for unzipping the zip files. Elix, Elix is the text browser. Now apt get install wget space unzip space elix and press enter. Now it is pointing uh, prompting for the yes or no. Just press y so that it, it will install the wget unzip and elix. Now the installation is completed. Uh, so we have to uh, we are going to show this demo on the script base so we have to type uh, the url of the script so for this purpose we are using the elix elix space http colon slash slash cloudhyd.com slash openstack and press enter now by default the cursor is on the scripts just press enter and press tab to save it now when the tab cursor is on the save, just press enter and enter. Now the file is downloaded. Uh, now just press escape, alt f, then q to quit from the elix. Now unzip the downloaded zip file by using unzip cloud hyd scripts and then just go to the folder which was just now created as a cloud hyd install scripts. In this, we are going to run the first phase slash cloud hyd underscore install underscore pre dot sh just press enter now 
It is installed in the NTP server as discussed earlier. It will be configured in the NTP server. Next, it is installed in the iSPSI. Now, it is installed in the lit VRT and KVM along with the bridge utilities. Now we are configuring the. Uh, it, now we are installing the MySQL. So in the uh, in the installation of MySQL, it will prompt for the root password. The same thing is prompted over here. Just type password as a password P A S S W O R D. It is reprompting again. Just press the same thing. Now it is prom prompting for the password which is we have which we have given earlier. The same password which we have given for the MySQL as a root, give the same password, password. Now it is prompting for the, what is the username for the Keystone, Nova and Glance? Because we are going to create the database along with the users and the password. So I am giving password again as a default password for the Keystone, uh, Glance as well as for the Nova. Just give the password, press enter, it is done. Now it is prompting for the it is showing the details related to the network. Just modify the network details as per your requirement. 